It's already a busy summer for the crew at Apex, but there's one problem, finding concrete. There was the, the company that we supply us, they said, your concrete is going to be limited. What does that mean? You're not going to get as much concrete like you used to in the past years. I thought it was a joke. Cement, a key ingredient for concrete, is in short supply across the country. It's because of labor shortages, increased demand, soaring prices, and issues at major plants. Jobs are being pushed back weeks or canceled completely. Everything is uh, getting more, more expensive. And then you add into that uh, labor issues. Um, and, you know, we have a perfect storm for, for industry right now. In Ontario, three major plants had significant shutdowns in recent months. In May, a fire at one of BC's largest facilities curtailed production for a month. And a worker strike affected half of ongoing projects in Vancouver and the Fraser Valley. It's difficult timing as demand rises. Everybody wants to do everything all at once. And it's not surprising that the economy takes a little time to get adjusted to this, this new level of uh, rapid construction growth. A boom year for construction is underway, but that rapid growth is being met by a shrinking workforce. We were already forecasting that there would be a likely shortage of workers, uh, primarily because the baby boomers make up such a significant uh, proportion of our workforce. Experts say prioritizing training for new workers and fast-tracking immigration streams for certain industries would lessen the strain. Otherwise, it's a matter of waiting for the market to adjust. But for now, it means tough choices for businesses of all sizes. What am I going to do? Half hmm, job? <laughs> you know what I mean? Industry forecasts say it could be the end of the year before things get better, well after the end of construction season. Elise Von Schiel, CBC News, Calgary.